For those of you who are taking class with me this semester, I'd like to give you an overview of some of the technologies that we're going to be using. I'll be using or showing a specific class uh, that, uh, that I'm going to be using uh, certain technologies with, but it's going to be very similar regardless of the class that you take. So this semester we're going to be using Notion. This is, uh, you can find this website at notion.so. And I'm going to show you first what it looks like on a PC, and then I'll show you what it looks like on a mobile device, specifically a cellular phone, as most of you will be using your cell phone to access some of the course content uh, that we're going to be working with face-to-face. -face. So our class is going to meet every day face-to-face, -face, but much of the content that we work with face-to-face -face will also be shared online. And this is what I want to show and share with you today, kind of giving you an orientation as to how to access the information and what it, uh, what it might look like. So here we have a class in Notion. And the first thing you're, you're going to want to do is go to the Notion website. And you can, again, access the website by going to notion.so. So if I were to sign out here, which I'll do right now. And when you go to the website, you'll have an option to create an account either by using a, an email. So you can create your own uh, username and password. The username will be your email and then you can create your own password or you can simply use Google. I use Google just for simplicity's sake, but uh, that's up to you. The second step that, that we need to do is uh, you need to be invited to the website. So I'm going to be using your university email, and uh, this is going to include your ID. If you're not familiar with your ID or if you're not able to access it, you can go to this website under student tutorials, and you can refer to this tutorial that explains how to get your your uh, your email here at the university but this is going to be the uh, the uh, the email that I'll be using to register <clears throat> each of your accounts into the classroom website okay if you do have any questions about getting into your uh, your account in office 365 which essentially that's what it is um, then uh, see me please come by my office ask me in class of course and I'll try to assist you can also go to uh, building 55 on the second floor and they can also assist you Alright, so if you look at this classroom Website, you'll notice first that there is a section for comments So when you get invited to the website, you'll also be able to make comments, but you'll find these comments here in this section just below the title of the uh, course then below the comments section, you will have the database. Now I'll come back to the database and show you uh, the different views and exactly what the database is. Uh, but this is where all the course content will reside. Then just below that, you'll have general information about the course along with a link to the syllabus. So at any time uh, throughout the course, you can access the syllabus. Of course, we'll go, we'll go over the syllabus the first day of class, but here you can, uh, you can access this uh, by clicking on this link. All right, and so let's go back to the database. Now the database is, as I mentioned, where is going to be where you're, you'll find all of the course content. And you'll notice that each one of the weeks in this particular view has a page. Okay, so... This will be the order in which we will uh, cover the content. Things could change because this is still at the beginning of the course. You'll notice that there's not a lot of content here. This will be populated throughout the course. Uh, but you'll notice here, like if I were to click on here, this will open up a block and it'll have information about what we'll cover face to face. Now you'll notice here, one of the, the good things about a database in Notion is that you can create a database with different views. And so you'll notice 
here we're under the current view and this is probably going to be the most useful view for you because you'll have information of upcoming weeks you'll have the current week and you may have one or two uh, prior weeks so here you can kind of orient yourself see where we've been where we are currently and where we're planning on going in the future but you can also click on the calendar link and here because I'm recording this video almost two, three weeks before class, I'll need to move up to August. But when you open this, it should open up to the day uh, that we're currently working in. And you'll see that the same course content can be, uh, can be accessed through the calendar based on the particular day. Okay, so this is exactly the same course content. It's just different ways of viewing it. So again, this information here in week one, you'll notice there are one, two, three, four, five different uh, information blocks or assignment or activity blocks. If you go here to the calendar, these are the five, the same five pieces of content. Okay, so this is another view. And we have all weeks. Now this may or may not be as useful, but all of the weeks for the entire course can be accessible through this view okay and because I have a lot of course content in the first week I have to scroll down a little bit to use the scroll bar to scroll horizontally throughout the weeks but all of the weeks all the course content will be uh, accessible through this view and then there's some other views that are going to be a little bit more specific to the course well, I should say units, okay? This is another view that will be probably a common view for all the courses that I offer in Notion. So if you're interested in accessing certain course content by unit, this is another view. But then when it gets down towards the, the, the bottom of these different views, content, for example, is going to be probably more specific to this course, Grammar and Context 1, but the course content will be filtered and organized by context. Since, since this is a grammar in context course, we're going to have different contexts, and this might be useful for you. Uh, certainly will be useful for me as your instructor to have all of this course content organized by context. Grammatical structure. So here you can find different blocks. If you're interested in uh, practicing or learning more about verbs, you can organize or use this view to find all the course content that is related to verbs, for example. And then the table is just one general table with all the course content, probably the least useful uh, in, uh, if you're uh, the uh, learner for, you know, who's taking this course, probably the table is not going to be the most useful. But again, all of this information is the same. All of these blocks are the same content. It's just different ways to view it. This is the database. And regardless of the course, you'll find that this database will be found just below the comment section. And most of the courses are going to have the current week view, the calendar, all weeks, and units. That's going to be, uh, those will be common views regardless of the course. Okay, so that's about all I need to share with you at this point uh, regarding Notion. Now let's look at what Notion looks like or how you might access the same course content using your cell phone. Okay, so uh, now if you look at your cell phone, I'm, this is an Android device, so it's going to be very similar though uh, regardless uh, if you're using an iPhone or an Android phone. Uh, but I want to show you different, two different ways that you can access Notion. The first is by the browser, and all I did here was that I put in my uh, the u the URL notion notion dot so, and it's gonna oops gotta spell it right here. Let's try this again. Notion dot so. All right, and it's going to be it's going to take me right into it because I've already signed in. But uh, just as I mentioned earlier, if you are new or you're coming into uh, the the link or the page for the first time, you're going to need to sign in. You can sign in either creating your own username and password, or you can use uh, Google. But here I have 
Let's move, move my picture over here. Top left hand corner of your screen, this is the pop up menu here. And uh, we'll go to the same class that we were looking at earlier, grammar and context. And this is basically what it looks like on your cell phone. So, again, most of the content, in fact, all the content appears in the same order. I've got first uh, any comments that I'll have or that you leave. So, you can also leave comments as well, and those will appear at the top. Then you have your database. And then below the different, uh, just the general information about the course, as I mentioned before, along with the link to the syllabus. All right, now if you want to change views in the database, as we did in, uh, in the PC version here that I just explained, you can click here, and now I have the calendar view. I can click calendar, and I can go to all weeks. And with my finger, I can scroll to the right. This is actually easier to do on the cell phone than it is the PC in terms of uh, scrolling uh, from week to week in this particular view because again in week one I have a lot of different uh, blocks or content that we're going to cover so it's actually easier to scroll around uh, using your cell phone. Now you'll notice here that if you scroll from left to right all the way from the left this will also open up the side menu. Okay, so you can either click on the the uh, the hamburger icon there, as I'm doing, or I can just scroll with my finger from left to right to bring in this to bring over the the menu. If you're using different uh, different pages, if you're just using Notion for uh, this particular class, then it may or may not be uh, necessary uh, to to uh, op to view obviously to open up the side view. Okay, so this is basically what it looks like. Now I'm in the browser. You can also, if you wish, you can download and install the Notion app. The Notion app looks like that, and it looks very similar to the browser. And this is one of the reasons why I like this particular uh, service is that the mobile experience is very similar whether you use the app or not. So if for some reason you're not able to install more apps, um, you know, to your your cell phone, then you might just decide to use the browser. Okay, but either way, pretty much works the same as far as scrolling around and getting around the uh, the content. And uh, yeah, so I think I'll go ahead and stop there. I just wanted to provide this overview of Notion. This is how we're going to access much of the content, many of the activities that we do both in class and outside of class. Uh, will be conducted in Notion and uh, the first step will be uh, for me to send you emails again uh, go ahead and uh, activate your email if you haven't or make sure that you obtain your email if, you, or if you're just starting uh, using uh, the Office 365 service. If you do have any questions about getting started uh, with the class with using Notion or obtaining your email feel free to uh, see me in class, of course, come by my office, or you can uh, reach me via email.